Isaac. <laughs> I'm just thinking where to set you up. We're going on the floor. Okay. It's been a while. I just recently started painting again or drawing or just like doing stuff with pens and paintbrushes and that kind of stuff. And I don't really have anything at home except for those crappy hard paint blocks that you get in primary school because they don't want to waste money on you. So you dunk it in water to paintbrush and then you have to like wet it and then you paint i mean these sometimes i like have this idea of, oops okay i was just on my finger sometimes i have this idea of what i want to paint it doesn't work with that paint colors so i went to buy some cool stuff and because i don't really spend that much money i thought okay this is for me now i'll splurge a bit it's my birthday gift because it's my birthday's coming up so it's my birthday gift to myself and i'll show you what i got so, not because of any specific reason, but just because I kind of like want to show off. These are some cool pens, pencils, pens. Pen These are some cool coloring pencils, but they're specifically, but they're specifically for on black paper because you know how sometimes when you color with normal pencils on black paper, it just doesn't really show up. But these are specific for it and it'll look like this. I already tried them out and they're not disappointing. They're very cool. Then I got some paint brushes because I only have a few and they're not really good anymore because I've had them for 10 years or more and they're starting to look a bit funny. So I got some paint brushes. Um, then I got this cool thing which a friend of mine once had and it's there's water in here and if you have dissolvable pencils which do exist, I have some which basically mix with water but instead of always adding with the paintbrush and sometimes you have too much water sometimes you have too little water and that's being complicated this is like a paintbrush um and in back you can fill in the water and squirt it out so you can blend the paint does that make sense um then i got some proper painting colors um they're acrylic and I'm just I'm just aware of like how amateur like this sounds. I have no idea of painting. I just started like a week ago. Um, they got some cool highlighters just because they're cool colors, and I, and I need to be excited about studying. Then I got these, which are calligraphy pens, um, in the colors, in these colors. Um, they're two sets, so basically they complete the rainbow when added together. Then I got. The same, but in um, pastel and normal colors. And these are, they're like, I don't know if you can see it, but they're like, um, here you can see kind of like the brush. And on the other side, they're just a normal pen. Like here, you can also see it. Whee! Oh, it's reflecting. I hope you get the idea. And then just um, this paper, which is like textured paper. So if you um, draw on it, it just, there's a difference between just normal copier paper and this kind of paper. And then the last thing is I got this pen, which is super cool, where it's basically like a sticky thing where you can draw something with this and you can paint over it and then pull it off. And so rather than like painting around it, like if you want to keep something white um, in the middle, rather than painting around it, um, you can just paint what you want to have left blank with this and then you can pull it off here it's kind of how it looks like or how it should work and yeah i'm really excited and i just felt like sharing and showing and um this is a really short video but i just was excited and i'm still excited and i still am very excited and can't wait to use the rest of them um this I already tried out, and the others are to be tried out too. And yeah, um, that's that. Uh, see you next time. Bye.